So today I'm going to be showing you how to shape and file the perfect coffin nail. So what you're going to be needing is a 100 to 180 grit file and we're going to use this to file the surface of the natural nail to remove any shine just to get it nice and prepped for acrylic. Then we're going to be also pushing away your cuticle, pushing it back and removing all the dead skin. Then you're going to go ahead and find a tip that fits you, make sure it fits from side to side. You want to make sure that there's no gap, that it fits perfectly, like you work extra hard for it, to make sure that it fits perfectly so that it will not pop off at all. And then we're going to be applying a, dop, a, dop, <laughs> a drop of glue and we're going to be adhering the fake nail to the natural nail and you just kind of want to wiggle it on there and hold it down and press it until it dries so it's nice and secure. Okay, next I'm taking some scissors. I'm going to cut off the tip. This depends on how long you want your nails and the easy trick that I would like to do is go in and cut from side to side. It just cut off the side so that it saves you from filing anything extra. And you're gonna take your file again and just file the sides. Um, kind of try to get the shape with the file so that you can have less filing time. And then I like to turn my file and just file straight up and down so that you can get that nice flat, crisp coffin edge. I'm gonna go in with the CMD Perfect Color Sculpting Powder. This one's in the shade clear. And I'm just going to be dipping my brush in monomer, picking up a bead. And I always like to dry my bead on my paper towel so that I don't have any extra monomer. And I'm gonna be starting at the cuticle. Now guys, you have to forgive me. This is my first nail video ever. So I was completely getting out of focus and out of range. So I kind of messed up, like it just, became super patchy and it, you know the acrylic dried on me so I couldn't smooth it out um, but the good thing about acrylic is that it is very forgiving you can go in and add as much as you need fill in all the gaps and holes which you will be seeing here in a second I ended up with a bunch of holes and gaps but I just kept on filling it in and then you can just go in with your file clean it all up at the end and you will be very very good I'm just applying another bead here in the middle and just brushing it downwards and then I like to flip my brush, turn it around and brush upwards so that it blends in really good. And like I said, forgive me, I will get better at this. I need to find a better angle because a lot of the times my hand was in the way and I was not showing you guys nada. As you can see there on the side, there's a bunch of holes. But like I said, you can pick up a nice wet bead and you can just fill it all in and blend it out at the end. Side note, I opened up a new salon and I cannot wait to show you guys, maybe do some vlogging. Like the video if you want me to start vlogging because, guys, I opened up a whole salon. Like me, my business partner, like three nail girls, one massage therapist, an esthetician. It's wonderful and it's just ugh, so blessed. But let me know if you guys want to see more of that. We are decorating and there's just a lot to come, so keep an eye out for that. All right, once you have it nice and filled in how you want it, I'm sorry, it's going to look very crappy because this is the best I could do while trying to film and, you know, just get coordinated. So I'm going to go ahead and file it up once it's nice and dry and you turn your brush around and you um, bang it against the nail, you should hear a click and that tells you that it's good and dry. I'm going to take my file and I'm going to start on the edges and I like to go in a 45 degree angle and just file file until you get those edges nice and straight. And I'm going to do the same with the tip of the nail. Just I turn my brush straight up and down and it just files it really nicely. I then like to take my file and just start um, 
filing the top of the nail. Even though I'm going to be using my e-file, I still like to go in with the handheld file and just kind of get all the lumps out of the way, anything that I can do without using the e-file. You just want to make sure to do it the same number of times on each side. And here I am just filing, filing my life away. Like I said, I messed up and I added a little too much acrylic, but we're good. I'm taking my e-file with a sanding bit and I forgot which one it is. I'm pretty sure it's a medium file band. And you're just going to start from one side to the other side and go back and forth all the way up and down the nail. Really focusing on the cuticle to get it nice and blended and then just work yourself all the way down to the nail tip and just kind of file off the edge right there. You just really want to be careful, turn your finger around, look up and down, make sure your apex is like good and thick enough and just keep on filing or don't, don't over file because then you have to add more acrylic which you don't want to do at this point. And I'm sorry, my hand was in the way. Then I like to just finish it off with a um, buffer. I forgot what these are called. Um, a buffer block, I guess, and just buff it, buff it and get all the surface nice and smooth. And we are done. That is how you easily, easily shape your coffin now. It just looks nice. It's like a really cool style. So thank you so much for watching. If you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Comment down below what you want to see. Bye!